though. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Feral Warden, Plasma Fire, Xeno Guardian, Ossified Drone, Poly Wall, Grenade Mech, Zamora, with a drone. Drone. Looks like, I mean, with a poly wall, this can be a very slow game. This thing can really defend in the early game. Delta. Echo. Echo. So if I go for four engineers now, I will be able to build a vivid drone and a drone. Space 2. And let's see where that takes me. I don't think we will be aggressive very too soon. Drone. He matches my engineer, interestingly enough. Number one. Delta. Space 2. Yeah, I think we're just gonna be building economy for a long while. Drone. Number one. Charlie. Delta. Space 2. But he's gonna be quicker to build his Zamora, and that is a big problem. I should have gone a double conduit and then Zamora this turn. I made that mistake. To allow him to build Zamora first. Zamora is gigantic when it finishes. It attacks for 8. So if I have to take 8 damage before I get to attack with my Zamora, that's no small thing. I guess I'll just have to use a polywall to buffer that. And maybe it's gonna be okay after all. But I feel like I'm just doing the same strategy but slower. And staying one turn behind him, which is just never a good thing. Never a good thing at all. Still, this seems to be a good strategy. I can't think of a better one, so I will keep doing it, but... If he's gonna do the same thing faster, how do I win? I guess I'll have to figure it out along the way. And I'm disconnected. Is my stream okay? Stream's fine. Let's see if Prismata can figure it out. Hopefully it can. Oh, Crowfire, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this breaks, I think I'm gonna play like one XCOM mission. XCOM lost by one vote, literally. So playing both games during this streaming segment wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Mic muted? What do you mean mic muted? I can see my mic just fine on my end. Okay, I'm back. Drone. Are you sure you don't have your stream muted? But then you wouldn't hear the music. Number one. Bravo. Delta. Boom. Charlie. Charlie. Space 2. Let's get a fuckload of conduits and uh, diversify myself from him that way. And Toes is just messing with me. Nah, I'm just messing with you. My mic is okay. <laughs> you can probably tell. I'm not as good at pretending. Some people I can do it really well. I think it's the first time I did it, so... You could probably tell. <laughs> mic muted! Kappa Kappa! Drone. Number one. Number two. Wait, he's not building Zamora! Oh my god, he wasn't building Zamora, and I forgot to build mine, because that disconnect completely threw me off my game. And we just didn't build Zamora. 
Why didn't we build Zamora? What? Delta. This game took a really weird turn right now. Delta. Now, I will need... Uh, in case he drops a Plasma Fire on me... Oh, bravo. I need a Blast Forge ready, which means I cannot build a drone. Space 2. <laughs> Instant Ramen! Welcome! Welcome to the viewer voting weekend! The last bastion of variety gaming on this XCOM ridden stream. Yes, the Mora is basically one of the biggest units in the game. With 20 HP, 8 attack, producing 8 money per turn if you pay 8 green. Gigantic unit, but built 6 turns. So if I can just survive the Plasma Fire Onslaught for long enough... Drone. Number 4. To get to my Zamora, I will crush him. Double Drone. But I will also need to stockpile a lot of green. Double Drone turn. That's why I built three conduits, so that when the Zamora comes, I will have tons of green to be able to spend on... on uh, playing Zamora. And then I may actually have to go up to, like, six or eight conduits thrown in the end. Now with two Plasma Fires, he'll be able to drop my Polywall and two Engineers. Double Drown. Double Drown. So this may be the last time I'm building Drowns. Double Drown. Number six. And I'll get the Xeno Guardian. Actually, no, he's not prompt. Oh. W. I guess I'll drop a wall. So that once he kills my poly wall, the last two damage will be absorbed by the wall rather than taken by the engineers. Space 2. And I'll need to start building some attacking units soon. Or yeah, I need I need uh, I needed an animus. I was being silly by not spending my seven gold. I totally should have built an animus and then started dropping Tarsiers every turn. Also, if I drone could be a good decision as well. If I'll have lo lots of red left over, drone, base, drone. Number four. Now I will need a poly wall here. Apple, bravo. Double drone. Yeah, I guess this is my last turn of mad droning. And then I'm gonna switch to building poly walls and tarsiers. And with the economy I have, I will be earning ridiculous amounts of money. I'm basically going to be at 28 next turn, which allows me for... Uh, I will need a double polywall, so I guess it's a double polywall, double Tarsier. I won't be able to really afford this Animus properly. He will be putting a lot of pressure on me if he wants to sacrifice three drones per turn, the way he's doing it. I won't be able to afford a quadruple Tarsier, so what's the point of getting the Animus if I... I guess uh, the point of getting the Animus is because I will be earning more money once Zamora is active, but if, if I want Zamora to be properly active, I need more than three conduits. I need at least four. So let's drop another conduit instead. And then when Zamora is, gets built, I will be able to then... Drone. Please. Drone. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Yeah, so a double polywall isn't even enough to defend me from this plasma fire craziness. Foxtrot. Tango. Tango. I just need to survive like two more turns though. That's all it takes for me. Just two more turns. I'll force field the shit out of it if I have to, but I need to survive just a little bit longer. He is killing four drones per turn, so it's not like I'm putting no pressure on him. For him to attack, he has to put pressure on himself. And he will run out of drone supply eventually. It is legitimately a thing for him to run out of drone supply. Oh, Kulenich, you caught just the end of the Prismata stream. After this, I'll have to play one more game and then it's gonna be another vote. And Prismata can't be chosen twice in a row, but you caught it in time. That's nice. We've got some epic games today. Man, just imagine I didn't forget Zamora, and I built it like two turns earlier. I would already go on the offensive. Drone. Would be so much better. Drone. 
to. And he's putting so much freaking pressure right now. I have to triple force field. And make a single Tarsier. Yeah, so he's killing my economy as well. My economy just got to his level, basically. Shit. And I'm also spending... Damn it, I don't like this. I'm gonna go one Rhino, less force fields. Because I cannot spend too much of my red or Zamora will be unusable. That would be a disaster. Yeah, Prismata's the best. I, I guess Prismata is my second best game after XCOM, so I just only stream XCOM on the weekdays, but... Uh, I, there will be a time where I will just go crazy with Prismata. There will be a time. It's just XCOM is taking me months to complete. And I'm not even close yet. I mean, I've gone miles ahead since I started playing XCOM, but... I'm s there's still miles ahead of me before I can ever even think about winning XCOM, be becoming free of the challenge and ready to move on to other games. For now, I'm just obsessed. So again, he will leave me with nothing but just one wall. The more I will finally be ready, so I will be doing some proper attacking right now. He just barely builds enough defense. Drone. Space. Drone. Home. Bam! Two. Double poly wall. Break his entire line of defense. Home. 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 And then... Double Rhino for defense. And then one more conduit. I will need to go up to eight conduits eventually if I want to keep using Zamora. And I do want to keep using Zamora. Space still. And now that I'm killing his engineers, he will not be able to use his plasma fires actually. Or he will just run out of drones. I win. Plasma fires have dealt too much damage to his economy. His rush has failed. Zamora was, was successfully built. And now that it is, he just faces on impossible odds. Yeah, I will need another restart, Hip and Redku, I'm pretty sure. You know, I've been thinking about it for the last couple of days. I've been thinking about my XCOM playthrough. What really went wrong? Where did it all start? What will I do differently to actually make it right next time? Drone. And you know what I came down to? Well, you know what I actually reached? The, the what was my conclusion? Drone. Home. Space. I researched things too fast, I shit you not. My problem with, with, with XCOM was I researched things too fast with my triple laboratory. Dude. That, that's the problem. So basically I'm gonna research things slower next time and that's gonna be my improvement. Get that conduit. Space. It's just gonna be a couple of turns, and then he's not gonna be able to use his plasma fires anymore. Just a couple of turns. And b because when I researched things too fast, I wasn't able to buy all the things I researched. Especially because I spent my alloys on more research. I'm gonna go for Gauss slower. I'm not gonna build laboratories, I'm gonna build maybe one, one laboratory. And then I'm gonna build workshops and I will be able to afford more things because of it. I will also, because I will have workshops, I will have alloys, I will be able to build more laser cannons, and by the time I will reach September next playthrough, I will have like eight laser cannons, defending two continents in a solid way. Now I am struggling with money and alloys because I am not earning money from shooting down UFOs. Brown. Space. Brown. And basically, I'm not earning money right now because I misspent my money and didn't build those laser cannons in the past. Which creates a vicious cycle of just never having money because I'm incapable of earning it. And then, TCS Gamer, welcome to the stream. I'm doing wonderful today. It's a viewer voting weekend, the last bastion of ver variety on this stream. Always excited for that. 
Now, he will be able to, p to play his Plasma Fires one last desperate time, after which he just won't be able to attack me anymore, like he needs to. And I will go up to 8 conduits to guarantee 